everyone it's julie welcome back to my channel it's been a while i've been out because of my freaking migraines what a surprise i get them all the time but you know what i am back and i'm ready to film and i'm going to show you guys what i got from neiman marcus um i got some chloe boots i've never ordered from chloe before so far so good i really like it now these boots don't give you like summer vibes but i really wanted like classic black boots well i was looking for more like combat boots but this i feel like gives off that feeling but it's not i feel like it's like right in the middle it's like perfect it's like that combat boot style but it doesn't have like a bunch of like metal hardware or just like that super edgy kind of look it's just like a clean look so I'm really excited to show you guys Neiman Marcus is going bankrupt and I'm sure they're still gonna be selling a bunch of their stuff but just in case you know I wanted to use up my gift card and yeah I'm really glad that I stumbled upon these boots because they are super cute and I love them this is the box that it came in it's just a simple white box that says Chloe inside there was a bunch of tissue papers um, dust bags it comes with two dust bags. They're kind of like a linen-y, cotton-y material. And it's white and it says Chloe. It's so pretty. So it comes with two of them. Man, I have not been feeling well and now my allergies are kicking in. And um, yeah, so if I'm gonna be sniffling, I know that's disgusting, so sorry. Let's get into it. Ta-da! These are the boots that I got. I love these boots so much. So these are called the Betty, this is like a tongue twister, Betty Rubber Rain Booties. Whew, done. I normally don't hold shoes underneath, but I haven't worn them out and about yet. And plus my nails are so gross, I don't want you guys to see it. These are $495 in US. It is made in Italy. So these are made up of two different materials, rubber and PVC. The rubber part is the sawtooth sole right here. It's, it has a two inch heel and then like a slight platform. It's square toed, but I feel like it's square toed, but not like too dramatic where it's like, ugh, I feel like it's like the right amount of square. I don't know how to explain it. This part of it, I totally thought it was leather. I don't know what I was thinking, but it's PVC, AKA polyvinyl chloride. But that material is like a plastic, a plastic material that a lot of waterproof things are made out of. So yeah. That's that. And then it has a pull tab in the back, which it says Chloe on both sides, over here and in the inside. It also says Chloe on the outside right here. I love that it's so minimal and it's like everything's monochromatic. I just, I love that so much. And it also has a big zipper um, in the inside of the shoe so you, for easy access. Ta-da. Um, and it says Chloe on the zipper as well. I can't zip it up like that. Okay. And it also says Chloe on the zipper. And the zipper is huge. So I really like that because it makes it easy for me to zip it up and down. It's like a matte. It looks like a matte black. I just love this. And I love it because it's not just like all, it's all black, but there's some kind of texture to it. I don't know. It just makes it more unique i guess that's what i'm trying to say i know you're looking at this like girl this looks like a black boot but see how in the front it has those like two lines right there and i feel like that makes it more i don't know how to explain this i feel like these boots are like made so well you know those companies that make those leggings where it's like light on light and dark in the correct spots so it's like lighter where it should make your butt look bigger and it's darker where it like supposed to like cinch in the waist like you know what i'm talking about i feel like that's the same thing with these boots like it's all black but the different texture like and the different lines it makes it look more narrow than it's supposed to be i don't know how to explain it but anyways it's designed so well i love it so much when i put it on i was like oh i love I got these in a size six, which is pretty true to size. I'm a six, six and a half. I was wearing it with like super thin socks and it fit perfectly. <clears throat> it had a little bit of room in the back, just like a tiny little bit. I think if I would have went smaller, it would have hurt my feet a lot because I have a bunion on my foot and I need it to be like, you know, wide. I'm gonna show you guys more detail. So that's, 
that's the heel and it's really comfortable i've been walking around in it in my house i really like it a lot so that's the front and then let me show you this way so it's got like the square toe and then this is the other side of it and it's kind of it's heavy chloe right oh can you guys see that it says chloe right there and then here is the zipper part the zipper part goes all the way down i love these i feel like this can be worn with dresses skirts pants i feel like these shoes are so versatile and they're black boots i don't think they're ever going to go out of style there's not really a lot of like rain here but i don't know if it does rain <laughs> i'll be good to go now i'm going to show you guys what it looks like um on my body okay maybe this is not the right outfit to show you guys these boots in but it's just what i was wearing right now so i am 5253 and it comes maybe like mid calf but oh my god i just love them they're so comfy and they make you feel so sturdy like i feel like i'm just planted on the ground <laughs> and here's what it looks like on the side and I like how it doesn't, I feel like I have pretty big calves, but um, there's still like space there. Oh, sorry, my hair. <laughs> I feel like there's still space here, so I really like that. Show you the back. This is the back thumb. Side. I just love that they don't look like too chunky, too much, too masculine. Oh my god, I can't even say that word. Too masculine. Um, it just looks so like a feminine combat boot. Does that make sense? Like when I look at this, I feel like hmm, it's like edgy and combat boot looking-ish, but still super feminine at the same time. Does that make sense? I don't know. Should have probably gotten a tan but that's what it looks like on my body should i show you guys the side of it so this would be cute if i had like a black jacket on let's try it on or even black tights oh i want to make a video of different outfits that you could wear with these boots hold on here's one cute outfit that i'd probably wear boots are pretty heavy so don't be planning on like running in these shoes. I just feel like like planted on the ground. <laughs> like I don't know how to explain it. Probably wear these with sheer tights, sheer black tights. But yeah, I love these boots. And yeah, they're not totally like summer vibes, but you know what? I don't care. I needed these boots. I, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have these boots forever. <laughs> Let me take these off. Ugh. I feel like Mr. Rogers, like when he's taking off his shoes, and he's like, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, blah, 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 blah. So, I really like these boots. They're very heavy duty. I mean, you can't, <laughs> they're pretty heavy, so like if you need to be doing some running, and stuff like that and it's probably maybe not wear on those days you can kick somebody in the face just kidding don't do that I don't know the answer don't do that okay um anyways so these were my new boots i hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's all be kind to each other and kind to ourselves and i hope you guys have the most amazing day ever bye